G'day, I'm Kent. My daughter Frankie's been nice enough to loan us her bedroom today so I can shoot this video. I wanted to show you the quickest and easiest way you've ever seen to replace your fly screen mesh. Let's get into it. I'll show you a close up of this hole just now. Now this is just worn out. It's weathered, it's rotten, and it's starting to tear. Now that's not stopping any mozzies. It probably wouldn't even stop a bird coming in. Thankfully, it's cheap and easy to replace this mesh. We've got to start by removing this glass window, or this glass window pane. So slide it up and drop it out there. The bottom of this is going to be dirty, so just set that aside somewhere where it doesn't matter. And now to get the fly screen out, I'm just going to lift it up into that track at the top and then wiggle and pull the bottom of the fly screen and then slide it down like that. Fly screen removed. We've got to remove the spline, which is this rubber sort of piping. It runs around the whole window frame. It sits in a groove and holds the fly screen mesh in place. You can just pull that out. Now, if this is in really poor condition, perished, brittle, you can replace it. This one seems to be in okay condition, so we'll reuse it. That's one less thing to go in landfill. Then you can just pull out your mesh. With both the rubber spline and that mesh removed, we'll just give these channels a little clean out. You can sweep it or vacuum it. So I measured the fly screen frame and then went down to the hardware store and bought enough fly screen material so that it'll hang over the edge of the window at least an inch all the way around. We can start pushing in this rubber profile, this um, spline. It's easy to start doing a long end first. When you pick up your fly screen mesh, pick up one of these little spline rollers. Push your spline in using this end of your spline roller, just enough to get it started, and then you can use your wheel to push it into the groove. Now with a nice sharp blade, on a little bit of an angle, run it along the top of your spline, in that spline channel. What we want to do is trim off the excess fly screen material and nice and flush back there so it leaves you with a really clean looking edge to your screen. Just take your time, don't cut your fingers or slip and cut anything else. And that's the kind of finish we want to end up with. With that excess mesh trimmed off, it's pretty much done, but I want to show you a technique on how to reinstall this fly screen panel back into the hole. It can be a bit tricky sometimes. You always have the spline facing inside the house and that flat piece of panel on the outside. This is how you install it. So you get the left hand corner right up in the top track there. This right hand corner, you put it in the side track. As you lift it up, straighten it, push it all the way up until it's in its top track up there. And then you sort of wiggle it and push it side to side until it falls into the bottom track. Just manipulate it with your thumbs in that spline groove all the way around until you're happy with where it's sitting. Now we can replace the glass panel. Well, I'm really happy with how that's turned out. It looks good. I can feel a breeze coming through and it's going to keep the insects out. So that was cheap, it was easy, and it was quick. If you want to know how to install a heavier duty fly screen material, I've done a video. I'll add a link just there and it's called Pet Mesh and it 
it's a stronger product that can handle the abuse from cats and dogs. Also the spline, if you're not sure what size to use, I'll add a link to that video and it's just there. Check them out and I'll see you there.